this is the first violin part for remote control. Uh, remote control has a lot of new things that we need to cover. Uh, so luckily you have this video. You can watch it as many times as you want. Um, we're going to start with the very first notes on the page. It has three notes stacked on top of each other. And you can do that. Is an open D, and then one on your A string, and a low two on your E string. And all you have to do is you start on the lower two strings together, and then you switch your bow to here. And you're going to do it really quick. Okay, so you can practice that a few times. And then we're immediately going to switch to third position. That means it's going to happen on your A string. So where your third finger is right here on your A string, you're going to put first finger there. Okay? So that's going to be your D. All right? Um, so one goes here, and the very next note, which is a G, is going to end up right here. It sounds the same as your low two on your E string. Okay? Two different ways to play it. And if you're confused about where to put your finger, it's the where the body of your violin starts. Okay? Where the purfling is, that little edge that I think we talked about in a different video, um, that's right where your finger is going to go. Alright, so we have one where three usually is, and then we have three on our violin. Okay? So, we're going to play the first three measures. Start out with our chord, and then we switch. Whoops. And then up on your E string, two, and then three, and that high note Again, it's right over the purfling. Okay? Milton Kids, I think I marked it as a four. It should be a three. We'll talk about that in class. Then we're going to move three down between where they are now. Okay? So you've got two fingers there. We need to be right in between those. So here. Okay? That's called a C. There's a lot in these three little measures. Here we go. Let's play from the beginning. Switch. Move. Alright, so you can practice that over and over. Rewind the video if you need to. Um, it only happens just a few times in the song where we have to go up that high. All right, we're going to do the best we can with it. All right, right now I'm going to take my metronome and set it for 65 beats per minute. It's kind of a slow tempo for this song. <clears throat> All right, here we go. One, two, ready, play.
position. convincing. from measure 80, which is in first position. It's a low one right there. All right, and then you're gonna go up to third position on your E string. So where this third finger is, you're gonna put your first finger there on your E string, okay? And you're gonna play some notes in this position, but on your A string also, okay? So we want and then three on A, one on E, one on A. Try that again, see if I can do it a little better. Again. Okay. So let's try that. We're going to start right at measure 81 and keep going. Okay, one and two, ready, go. Rest. 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 And rest, shift. Mm, 
Let me get my hand set here. This is going to take a lot of practice. Here we go. 85. Go. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's do this slower. 85. should be three, one, three, two, three. All right, we do that four times. Five times. Keep going. That one's going to take a lot of practice. As you can see, I can barely even do it. Um, but like I said, take a little bit at a time. Uh, rewind the video. Watch it again. Take just even a couple of measures. Listen to how they sound. And then try to do it on your own. And then try to play along with me. Okay? Those high notes are a beast. But I'm sure you can do it. And if, if we can't, if we have to take it down an octave, that's what we'll have to do. Okay? But please don't get too discouraged. Uh, I know it's kind of tough. Um, if you have any questions at all, put them in the comments. And uh, I'll be looking for those. See you at school.